This week we're talking about the Robin Vic and Pharrell Williams situation and whether or not music sampling should be restricted. My whole take on the sampling thing is that it's quite similar to what J. Cole said on Note to Self on his last track of um, Forest Hills Drive. Is that if you've put something out there, just let somebody else be influenced by it or be inspired by it because it's music at the end of the day. I feel like this isn't sampling, it's a totally different concept. Sampling within hip hop is not the same thing as what's going on with this Robin Thick for our case. This was a case of lines not being clear about where inspiration lies and whether or not they were borrowing melodies or, or borrowing the vibe of the song. It's very hard to say whether or not that could, how that could be copyright, copyrighted. I think it's the whole loose lawsuit thing that, that, that troubles me about this whole restriction thing. I think um, it's problematic. Um, it, it, it causes people to be very insular, very tunnel vision. Um, we can't own everything, I don't believe. Uh, you can own some things. And in terms of music, music is supposed to be like an expression. And if people are inspired by other people's expression, then I think that people should be able to produce stuff. Sampling is something totally different. Sampling can be, like there's clear cut lines with sampling. If you take, record a piece of music from someone else's music and you interpret that into your own, that's sampling. And you either have one of two choices you get it cleared and the person who you took the sample from gets royalties paid to them or they get publishing paid to them or you try and disguise it and you hope that they don't know this that's it that's it. It's, it's a totally different discussion sampling and, and, and copyright as to inspiration of music is a, it's a totally different thing and I think it's something that we should all be able to do more on a fun thing I don't think every, I don't think there should be a limit to anything I think you should be able to do whatever you like once you hit that computer and if you make a big record you make a big record but just know that there is professional procedures that people take if you do make a record that does sound like theirs because possibly they might not be making the income that you may be making at the time so then they may feel that they have a chance of getting some money out of you if you have got a record that potentially sounds like this. The laws are appropriate for some situations and for others it gets a bit ridiculous. Where money comes into it, yes of course royalties or dues need to be paid. Um, I'm not sure how I feel about, you know, great 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 grandchildren coming forward and trying to uh, you know sue certain artists or certain artists children because they earn money off a certain track. I just think it's very long-winded and it opens the floodgates to everyone else coming forward and saying all oh, right someone made money off of that I'm gonna that sounds similar to this and it's, it's just blurred lines as, as DJ Snip said so if an artist has done something that another artist wants to put in their track they might not necessarily go through the sample clearance but they might be influenced and inspired which I think is the same case with Robin Thicke Pharrell and T.I. because it isn't actually a sound sample that's been taken from the Marvin Gaye record in 1970s compared to the 2013 record Blurred Lines then just let these people do what they want to do music is music art is art creativity is creativity let somebody be influenced by your art if you do feel you was inspired by someone at the time like there's nothing wrong with like asking someone whether it's okay to put out a record without anyone trying to tread on your feet or whether you're not treading on anyone else's feet just so that you can be able to get a record without with peace you know what I'm saying so I think in the end of the day there shouldn't be a limit to, a limit to producing producing is nature you know it's something that you take out whenever you feel like it however you're feeling is what made you sample that record so you know I feel like in the end of the day that's that that should be it you should always just be able to ask people man and just do your research on what you know to, you know, just do some more research and you'll know in the end really, innit? So I don't feel there should be a limit to production. Taking bits from other music is fine, but as soon as you start making money on it, we're talking about you're disrupting business or you're recreating your business on something that doesn't belong to you. So that's the issue that comes in when you sample music. I feel like if you're going to sample to gain inspiration, maybe you should put a sample in, gain the inspiration from it, and then take it out, you know, I remember before he was saying something like that, that he does that, he'll put a sample in, he'll play some bits over it, you know, things he can hear in the sample that are not actually there, and then he might take the whole sample out altogether, or he might reverse it, then find a melody and take the sample out altogether, it just depends on what you do, but if you're going to go and sell money, you need to pay the people that you took stuff from.